Hey guys, this is Mr. Hancock with a how-to video. This how-to video is um, how to use Google Earth to research your abandoned place. And in particular, we're going to use the um, street view level uh, to take a close look at um, Pripyat, which is the community right next to Chernobyl and we're gonna take some snapshots we're gonna we're gonna um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do some screenshots uh, using your device all right so first thing we do is we click launch earth and it takes just a second to load this is uh, one of the most powerful computer applications that exist uh, it is pretty pretty amazing. Uh, and then we're going to go over to search, and we're going to type in the place we want to search. In this case, I'm typing Pripyat. All right. Um, Pripyat, uh, city in Ukraine, that is obviously the place I want to go. Some of these are more specific. The amusement park, uh, the famous Ferris, uh, Ferris wheel. Um, in Pripyat, you could go specifically to that part of Pripyat, but we're just going to click on the city itself here. And instantly we start to zoom in. It's a ghost town in northern Ukraine near the Ukraine-Belarus border named after the nearby uh, uh, river Pripyat. Okay, so what we have, this whole massive area here that we're spinning around and looking at, and you see how many trees there are. Well, that was a city, but vegetation has has really kind of taken it over. All right. So we're going to click. Um, we are going to uh, select this little little guy down here and we can drag him and put him anywhere. These blue lines are the streets of Pripyat. OK, so we're just going to select a random spot uh, and you can really use this to explore this place. And Google Earth is going to put us down on the ground, street level. And sometimes you're going to find that this is, uh, there's, n there's not much to look at because a lot of it's going to be just um, green. So we kind of have to move around here um, and uh, not much to look at. Oh, there we go. Okay. So what you can do is holding your mouse, you can move. Uh, your screen around and get more of a 360 view and we actually see over here on the right we see a building so this would be a prime uh, example of something you might want to take a screenshot of all right now if any of you uh, I, I mentioned in class yesterday that there are some places that you're not going to be able to do the Google Street View with you can try it with your place, um, and uh, in some cases, um, for example, I tried to do this with uh, Shichun, the underwater city, and I don't believe it can be done. I don't believe you can get street level of, of Shichun. If any of you are able to prove me wrong, uh, please let me know. All right, so we want to take a picture. So we go down to the search button here, and we are going to type in snip and there is this uh, app called snip and sketch which snip and sketch is great for screenshots and you always have to click in the upper left hand corner you click new snip and then we're just going to draw a box around the area that we want to photograph okay so this is not a the, the thing that this does is when you want to capture a screenshot that is not a full screen, this it, snip and sketch is absolutely what you should use. So we click on that. Now we have a picture that we've taken, okay? So this is really cool because you were able to virtually travel to um, Pripyat. You were able to find your own picture. Now I, put a, I took a picture of the first building I found. Um, you guys might want to uh, maybe go to that amusement park uh, spin around there a little bit. Um, you can kind of walk the streets uh, and move forward. You've got to use those arrows and you've always got the ability to uh, spin yourself 360 using your mouse. 
Um, what we want to do now is we want to save this picture. So I'm going to click Save As. Um, you can't, and uh, so I'm just going to save it to this PC. Pictures, it will save with my other pictures. Uh, give it a name so that you can find it. I'm going to call this one Pripyat 1. Uh, you can simply kind of number your pictures, um, and you will have those. And then I click Save, and I've got my picture to use for my project. Now, uh, I want you guys to take, collect um, at least 10 pictures. They may not all be pictures that you use for your project. So keep that in mind. That is okay. All right. We're going to close our snip and sketch window. Uh, we can continue to kind of move around. Um, it is kind of a slow process. So at any point, if you're like, okay, I'm done with this part of Pripyat, uh, you just click on the little guy down here in the lower right hand corner, exit the street view, it pulls you back up, and then you click on it again, and you see the street view, and you can put yourself down literally anywhere. Uh, some of these circles are maybe um, not, not so much streets, but um, places of interest. So if we just drag our guy, uh, we're going to drop him in one of these places of interest really quick, hopefully. Um, you'll see, we'll, we'll see something here other than just, yeah. Okay, so you see there's kind of this um, different looking area here. Um, you're able to uh, see all around. Um, you can just use your arrow uh, to, to spin around. Um, so this looks, I'm not quite sure if that was a, um, some types of, some type of, like train station or something, um, maybe a hotel over there, apartment buildings. A lot of apartment buildings in the Soviet Union looked all the same. So uh, pretty cool, um, pretty cool ability uh, to uh, take pictures. Again, if we want to click, um, we again, just to show you how to do this again, we click Snip and Sketch, we click new um, and then you're usually going to be taking a rectangle photograph so that you can do a lasso screenshot as well but um, we're just gonna kind of um, put this around the building we want to photograph we've got our picture we save it um, to our pictures always give it a new name so that you can actually find it and that's how it works. That's the assignment. That's what you guys will be doing uh, when we finish class today.